Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy D Lord, and welcome back to another episode of our Tampa Bay Buccaneers Madden 21 Connected Franchise Series here in the Premier Madden League. Now, we are here for week 17. Yes, the final game of the regular season, the season finale, right? Something you may say, but. We're sitting with a 13-2 record. We have a first round by all wrapped up. You see the Patriots sitting pretty at 15-0. The, one of the teams that beat us in the Los Angeles Chargers at 13-2. But most importantly, when you go to the NFC, we are on top 13-2. We have a clinch because even with a Cowboy win and a loss by us, we'll be 13-3. We'll still have a game advantage over Dallas. So for this one, we're taking on the Atlanta Falcons, who have also clinched a playoff spot. So I'm not sure how many of his starters he's going to play. I'm not even sure how many NFC playoff um, get spot implications this game has. I don't think it has many. I'm not really sure. So I don't think he's going to play a lot of his starters. We're obviously not going to play a lot of our starters. So we're going to go through right now and bench almost every single person so Tom Brady's not going to play we are going to give the start to Josh Rosen but we will play Chris Trevler at some point in this game main reason why both of these quarterbacks have one-year deals I might try to bring back one of the two Josh Rosen a better thrower obviously Chris Trevler the 89 speed he is gifted physically so I'm not sure if I want to try to bring one of these guys back and make them the quarterback after next season if Tom Brady decides to come back and try to build them up or if we should start looking, you know, on the trade market or possibly even the draft and try to get the replacement for Tom Brady. That's all assuming Brady comes back for at least one more season. Um, at the running back spot, uh, I don't know if we want to start LaShawn, I mean, Leonard Fournette either because he also gets hurt. So we're not. We're going to go ahead and play Shady. And we're going to go ahead and play Keyshawn Vaughn. I think that's the move there. Fullback doesn't matter too much. I guess we could throw in Cameron Brake there over OJ Howard. At wide receiver, we're going to start Tyler Johnson at one spot. The other spot, I think we'll go with uh, Justin Watson. And then we'll put Scotty Miller at the three. But he'll also play the slot. And then we'll throw in Mickens just to, um, just to have somebody else there. So hopefully... We'll put Godwin five just in case he does have to get in the game. But that's what we're going to roll with at the receiver position. Uh, we'll give OJ Howard the start along with Cameron Bright. Um, when it comes to our offensive line, I don't know how many changes we want to make here. We obviously, though, don't want nobody to get hurt. So maybe we put Wells there. Um, we definitely want Ali Marpet out of the game. Uh, let's see. He can't because he's starting at right. All right, so look, we're going to have to figure something out here because I think he is the starter at, yes, he is the starter at right guard. And we really don't have nobody else, but we don't want him playing. So what we will do here is we will put, ah, man, I don't really know how we want to play this one. All right, so we'll put Donovan Smith back in, we'll allow him to start. And then we will then take Wells, who cannot run block at all, and we'll put Wells in the game and uh, see how that goes. <laughs> Shouldn't be that great. Center, we're going to go with Shipley. Man, we're not going to get no penetration on offense. Obviously, Jonathan Cooper is going to start for us a right guard. Tristan Wirfs is definitely going to come out the game. We're going to go with Joe Haig. I'm just looking at all these 60s across the board uh, for our offensive line. So very not talented um we'll let william goldson go just because we really don't have nobody else i don't believe once we are all said and done because we're going to bring somebody here at the right end position also and that could be the rookie here we go khalil davis is going to take the spot for um the dominican suit so we'll definitely do that defensive tackle we'll go with um avery jones and christian cummington be the two guys at defensive tackle at outside i guess we go anthony nelson i don't think he's that great of a guy but um we'll put him there our two middle linebackers uh, i think we have to unless we could bring yeah i think we have to put um do we want to put a 58 overall at the middle Whoa, man, the things we do when we were um, wrestling starters. We'll put Cam. I mean, he's a pass rush guy. 
I mean, he does have 85 speed. I don't know, man. We'll put him there. Uh, right outside linebacker. I don't think we have nobody else to go here either. So never mind. We're going to put Cameron Jill at right outside linebacker. Middle linebacker, we're going to have to play Devin White, I guess, uh, just because I hope he does not get hurt. We don't have nobody else to play. So we're definitely um, thin when it comes to this uh, roster. We'll put Carlson Davis. We'll start him. Then we'll go with Ryan Smith. I guess we're throwing Motley in the game. Um, Yeah. So that's going to be our cornerbacks. <laughs> Man, we're about to get torched this game. Uh, Antoine Winfield, who has been a beast this year, he is going to get benched right there. Earl Thomas is going to come out of the game also. Kickers, punters, I'm not too worried there. Kick returners, we can leave Mickens. He's not that good. <laughs> um, we don't really return a lot of kicks and punts anyway. So, long snapper, I'm not worried about the long snapper. Third down back, we'll definitely go with Shady, and then we'll put Vaughn in. Power back, we'll go with Vaughn. Slot receiver, like I said, we'll go Scotty Miller. Then we'll put Tyler Johnson in there. Left pass rush. Like I said, we just don't have a lot of guys, period, to really even get in the game. I guess we could go William Golston. I guess. I guess we could do that right there. I don't know who we have at right. We don't really have nobody at right. I guess we'll go Khalil Davis. So we'll put Khalil Davis in at right end right there. Um, let's make sure we take Shaq Barrett out because we don't want him getting in the game. I'd rather have Pierre Paul. Um, get in the game if need be. Uh, here we go. Defensive tackles. Aubrey Jones. And we'll go Covington as the two guys. With Ndamukong Sue if somebody has to play. Sub linebackers. Uh, we'll put Edwards in. And then we will have to put... We have no other linebackers that can come in. I guess we'll have to put in Kevin Minter. As our sub linebackers. <laughs> Ah, uh, man, this is so, so terrible. Carlton Davis is not going to play the slot for us today because he's going to be on the outside, which means we will have to put in Motley at slot. So let's go there and then just bring him up slowly like that. Um, Yeah, I guess we'll do it like that. All right, guys, so that is our... Week 17 all backups roster. Now let's see what the Falcons are going to do. I don't know if they're going to play their guys or not. Matt Ryan is in the game. Um, he, but he is going to rest Todd Gurley. So no Todd Gurley. He is rocking with Jeff Wilson. Um, which makes sense because Todd Gurley has injury problems to say the least. Um, wide receivers. He got rid of all his guys. Gary Jennings. Russell Gage. Trent Taylor. Not bad. All right, so tight ends, not that great either. I think he is rolling with the starting offensive line, though. So, I don't know. No, he's not the starting center. So, maybe he moved a couple of guys, but it looks like the majority of his offensive line might be in the game. Dante Fowler's still playing. Kenley's in there. <laughs> Grady Jarrett is playing. He is going to demolish our offensive line. Um... He did take out Jones. I mean, so he's taking he's he's taking out a few guys, but he still has he still has some talent. Or his backups are just clearly better than our backups. So that's his roster, man. Um, this is going to be an ugly game. This is going to be an ugly game that I don't know if we can win. We will try, but um, we'll hop in the game and find out. All right, guys, so here we go. First play from scrimmage. They have the football with Matt Ryan to go with the zone, and that is Wilson with the football. I'm used to seeing Tyler Gurley rock 30, so I was about to say Gurley's in the game, but it's Wilson, man. He gets a gain of five. All right, second down here. I'm just not used to seeing these guys in the game, man. We're rocking with Motley on this one. Oh, he got hit. I... Bro, catch the football. All right, so third and five. Can we force a three and out? See what Matt Ryan does here. And what a throw. And Gage makes the catch. Right, so after that play, he took out Matt Ryan. They have McSorley in the game. 
I'm assuming he's going to go the rest of the way to go with a toss. And let's go. What a tackle. Who's that? I think that's Isaiah Whitehead, right? Oh, Jordan Whitehead. That is Jordan Whitehead on the tackle. They're trying to throw the football. That change of direction on Jill got to be terrible, man. <laughs> it got to be awful. All right, guys. So we're going cover one. These guys probably can't guard anybody, but let's see what happens. And nope, we can't. All right, here we go now. Down the 23 yard line. Go with a play fake. And is he there? He is there. What a catch. I thought he overthrew him slightly, but McSorley out here throwing dots. All right, guys. So here we go. The man, the myth, the legend, Josh Rosen out here playing quarterback. Now, we don't want to run nothing too complex because we, we might play against him and get in the playoffs. So. Um, we're going to just come out here and try to play basic football, hopefully mistake-free football. Uh, see what happens. That's a nice throw right there by Rosen. It said inaccurate, but it got there. All right, so let's see if this play fake could work here. Gronk is in the game for order. Oh, because we have three tight ends set. Okay. I don't know. I was about to say, why is Gronk going to you know, get out of bounds? I'd rather you get out of bounds than get the first down. We don't need any injuries. All right, here we go. See if we get to the outside here. Not at all. <laughs> Did not stand a chance. All right, we're going to double team Grady Jarrett because our line is trash. And let's see what happens here. And nothing is there. Nothing is there. <laughs> Absolutely nothing was there, man. So intentional grounding, we're going to punt it. All right, so third and in inches now that we took out Levante David. Let's see what they do here. Great throw again, six for six. All right, so third and six, here we go. Go with a play fake and great throw, man. Mortley was not fast enough to come underneath it and they're gonna keep the drive going. Oh, what a block. And they get a first down there. Oh, what a break, broken tackle down to the 12. All right, third down, third and two. We're bringing the corner on a blitz here. And another touchdown, man. So Atlanta goes up 14. All right, first and 10. And there we go, OJ Howard making the catch. Here we go, second down. Let's see if we can make a play here. Go make it, Watson, and he dropped the football. That was a tough catch, man. It's going to be big third down. Now, here we go. We're going with a uh, option play, triple option here. There we go, Shady. Shady? Okay, Shady, we're going to take that, man. Down to the 46. I think he was waiting for me to juke back in, but we just rocked with it. All right, so Rosen is tired, so Chris Trevler is in the game right here. And let's see if we can get Johnson in the middle of the field. He's not going to get there, but we have one-on-one, -on -one, and there we go, O.J. Howard, and that is going to be a touchdown. The first, is that the first career touchdown from Strevler passing? It might be. And they get a first down. Oh, what a dot by McSorley. Another great throw, man. Right now, McSorley is eating our defense apart. And they've been running. They are running the ball very effectively, too, man. Down inside of the 10. Now, here we go. Can we stop them? And we don't. They get in there. Touchdown, man. And Atlanta 21 to 7 right now. Dump it down. Shady. Oh, takes a big hit. He fumbles it in Sheffield. Sheffield's going to get the scoop and score, man. And this is turning ugly quick. We go first and 10. Hand off up the middle. And we got two blocks. Shady not quick enough to explode through, but it's still a nice run. First down. Now that's the pick. And Josh Rosen, man, threw it right at him. That is a pick. 
And can we get him? We cannot get him. And that's going to be another touchdown. So two defensive touchdowns in a row for Atlanta, man. Now, they are stacking right now. We're probably not going to get this to work. But here we go. Third down. There we go. Rosen's going to keep it. And look at Rosen, man, down to the 43-yard line. Man, we get sacked. <laughs> we get sacked, man. Came off the edge. I don't think nobody touched him. All right, so here we go. It's third and 14. I don't really like this play. We're going to run it anyway, see what happens. He is wide open down the field, and it is incomplete. Could not get his feet down in bounds, man. And we're going to have to punt the ball. All right, guys. So the second half is going to be all Chris Strebler, fellas. So let's see what we could do here with the man, the myth, the legend. He's going to go back. There's Vaughn. Took a big hit. Now, he already completed his first pass. So he's now two for two. There you go. Second down. Second to four. Grady Jarrett tried to get him, but look at Chris Traveler with the 89 speed, baby. He's going to take that one down to the 45. That's why we, we might want to keep him around, man. His athleticism is ridiculous. First down. Great throw. He didn't make the catch. That was a great throw, though. And I ah, don't get it there. And we might be too far for a field goal, but uh, you guys know the vibes this game, man. We're trying everything. So 59 yarder. I don't think Suckup has his leg. You seen last last game we tried a 62 yarder. We're gonna try the 50 59 yarder. See what it is. And the kick is short. So we're probably looking at a range of like 57-ish. We want to see where he maxes out. Probably 57-ish is his range. Pick that off. There we go. Look at Smith getting the interception. And we're right back where we just were. Oh, wow. Look at Shady. Look at Shady. He got the block. And he's going to be brought down. Took a big hit stick, man, down to the 11. We go third and 11. <sighs> I don't know if y'all seen all that, man. Struggler still got hit. That throw did not work. Nothing came good out of that play. Oh, there we go. We get the interception with Kevin Minter. Oh, he breaks out of that tackle somehow, and he's going to get in there. Touchdown. Hey, that, that's one way to play. Oh, nice little run right there, man. I seen that the moment he snapped that. The moment he snapped it, I was like, yeah. And then what a run, man. Stick skills, and they get that right back, man. We just had nobody over there. There we go, Shady, and he makes the catch. Let's go, man. What a throw. All right, man. So he's bringing everybody up. This play is not going to work. It's just a simple jet sweep. Oh, uh, maybe. Ah, it's still not going to work, man. We're a yard short. Yeah, I got to punt it again. All right, second and six. Bring the man in motion. Intercepted. Oh, Jill. The terrible 58 overall linebacker. He gets a pick six right there, man. Let's go. Yes. Oh, I thought that was going to be picked off. Somehow, Tyler Johnson catches that. There we go. First down, baby. Took a big hit, didn't fumble the ball. Probably not going to work right here. But let's see. Is he in there? Touchdown. Oh, no. They didn't get his feet in. I guess we didn't get the feet in. Oh, OJ Howard with the nice move and touchdown. So we didn't score the first time. We do score there. That's what we wanted to see. Coach Strebler lead us on another touchdown drive. He did. All right, so here we go. 
First and ten, man. We got to get a stop on defense. We got to get a stop. He's throwing the ball. Has a lot of options. He overthrew him. Oh, the hit stick knocked it loose. There we go. Great tackle right there. And let's go, man. We get a stop, and it's going to be third down. We get a stop here. Maybe we get the ball back. Oh, there we go. Intentional grounding. We'll take that. That should stop the clock. Hey, we'll get the ball. Another shot with um, Strebler. All right, here we go. Can we drive down 88 yards in a minute 40? Let's find out right here. That was that, that was all me. But um to answer the question, no. Alright, second down. Oh, they're throwing the football here. And it's intercepted. Carlton Davis. Stay. Bro, stay in the end zone, bro. Why are you running out the end zone? Can he make that throw? What a throw. Alright, let's go. No huddle. No huddle. Uh, he's not letting me change the play, but um, we'll just go with this. There we go, LaShawn McCoy. Hey, we'll take that. We'll use a timeout there. This is that play, I think, that's in the Chiefs playbook. You see um, Miller, triangle. I don't know if we could block long enough for this to develop. It's there. It worked. Wow, what a play. We might got to start using that more. All right, first down now. He's there. Go get it. Miller, and he dropped the football. This this is why he's the backup, bro, because of stuff like that. There we go. Make the catch. Uh, did we not get the first? We did get the first, so we're going to spike it right here. There we go. 26 seconds left. There we go. Oh, he's going to be there. If he could get rid of it, but Grady Jarrett, too quick. He's there. We could get it to him. Let's go, baby. Touchdown. What a throw. That's what we wanted to see out of Strebler, baby. And it worked, man. So, excited for that. All right, so we have to go for two. Let's see. Um, let's definitely double team Grady Jarrett. He's there. There we go. So we get it to a three point game. Obviously, we need the onside kick. So this is where we get a lot of practicing because I don't think I've ever um, recovered an onside kick in this one. So let's see if we do here. Somebody get it? We were so close to getting that onside kick, guys. Wow. Wow. I mean, we can't we get out of here with a loss, but I mean, Strevler looked good, and that onside kick almost worked. All right, guys. So 42 to 39 was the score. We came on late, just didn't get the job done, man. He had 419 yards of offense. We had 401. He outgained us running 168 to 133. I just feel like we didn't run the ball enough. Um, but I feel like we did okay running the ball. We did outgain them passing 268 to 251, which is shocking. We were close in first downs. Um, the turnover differential, we were plus one. We turned it over three times. They turned it over four times. Looking at the quarterbacks, Trace McSorley, man, out of Penn State, 16 for 23, 245, two touchdowns, four picks. Chris Trevler, 15 for 24 for 238, three touchdowns. The one interception was on me, so he played really well. Josh Rosen, 6 for 9, 50 yards, no touchdowns, one pick. I don't think he was as bad, but Strebler looked more dynamic. Rosen's supposed to be a better passer. Strebler, like I said, looked way more dynamic. Jeff Wilson, 22 carries for 169 yards. Let's look at our running game. McCoy, 13 for 83. Rosen had one carry for 14 yards. Strebler, one carry for 24 yards. So he even outdid him there on the ground. Uh, receiving, OJ Howard got five catches for 100 yards, two touchdowns. 
He might be the guy for us. Depends on what happens with Gronk. Um, LaShawn McCoy, five catches, 62 yards. Tyler Johnson got four catches. Scotty Miller, three catches. Did have a big-time drop in the end zone. Watson, only two catches. Um, Gronk got one catch. I don't know why he was in the game, but he did. Um, defensively, the leader for us was Devin White. I did not want to play him, but um, we just didn't have any more depth for somebody to take his spot. But Kevin Mender had six catches. The, inter- um, the sack came from Devin White. The interceptions came from Cam Jill, Carlton Davis, Ryan Smith, and Kevin Minter. All right, guys, so we didn't get a single upgrade after that game as we dropped to 13-3 and on the season. But... Like I said, we already got the first round already locked up, man. So we are going to go on a nice little bye. Hopefully, you know, we'll see who we play against in round two. Since we are the number one seed, we'll play the lower seed or whoever makes it. So maybe it's a rematch against the Atlanta Falcons. Maybe it's a rematch against the Vikings. Maybe it's a rematch against the Detroit Lions, man. Um, It could really go either way. I know that Lions and Vikings game is huge. I think the winner of that game gets in the playoffs unless the green bay packers upset um the chicago bears or if not if the bears win the bears are locked into the playoffs also so we're looking at some divisional games you see the saints defeating the carolina panthers which means the carolina panthers will have the number one pick so we're more than likely going to be going up against either justin fields or trevor lawrence with the carolina panthers next season the saints they've won like two games in a row uh baltimore defeated cincinnati so i think baltimore is in the playoffs with that win uh, we got our win uh, our loss in the in our game i wish we would have won but it's all good man and then seattle looks like they got a big time win against san francisco but uh that's everything what i think i'll do for the next episode because obviously like i said we are not in it we'll probably go over all of the stats and i might show some highlights maybe of the wild card rounds from the other games i think we might do that before we hop into our game in the divisional round of the playoffs man but we are done with the regular season hopefully you guys have enjoyed it let me know what you guys think of our prospects going in uh remember we have some tough comp man um the patriots on the other side they have not lost a single game the chargers destroyed us when we played against them in the nfc specifically uh, we haven't played the cowboys but they've been looking really good the um washington football team they've been looking very good um we played obviously twice one real game i would say against atlanta then the last game against atlanta we played against minnesota that was a pretty close game we played against the detroit lions and we know how good cookie boy is so we have some tough comp if the giants somehow i don't know how they'll be able to get in if they somehow get in the giants beat us in the regular season so some tough comp man but that's everything for this episode as usual hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did please go ahead leave this video a like man it helps me out a lot subscribe if you haven't already it's your boy d lord i'm see y'all next time peace